Hi there. Now here we have a question on solving a trig equation. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video so you've got a chance to read it through and try the question. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So what we've got to do then is solve this equation. Let's just copy it down first of all. That is 9 times the sine of theta plus 60 degrees and this equals 4. So what we need to do is divide both sides by 9 first of all. So that would give us the sine of the angle theta plus 60 degrees equals 4 ninths. And then I need to think about taking the inverse sine of both sides. So therefore theta plus 60 degrees will equal the inverse sine of 4 ninths. Now at this point I would always draw a quadrant diagram, something like this, okay? And if you're unfamiliar with uh, quadrant diagrams, I've got plenty of tutorials on this. So uh, this is 0 degrees, this will be 90, 180, 270, 360. And we're looking for where sine of an angle is a positive value. And that occurs in the first and second quadrants. So we draw a line equally inclined to this horizontal line. Something like this, okay? Marking these two angles as being exactly the same. And because we want to turn between 0 and 360 degrees, that's turning anti-clockwise from here, we start from here and we turn to the first blue line. And this is one possible solution. Not for theta, but for theta plus 60 degrees, the angle that we're working with. So do take care over that bit. Starting from here again, we turn now to the next blue line. And that's a possible solution for theta plus 60 degrees. Okay. Now, when you use your calculator, make sure you're in degrees mode because we're working in degrees. Take the inverse sine of 4 ninths. And what you should find is that the angles that you get for theta plus 60 degrees, the one that shows up is 26.387 and so on. Okay. That would be measured in degrees. Now, that angle there will correspond to this blue angle in here. So let's just mark that in as being 26.387 and so on degrees. So that means that this one here will be 26.387. So when it comes to working out the green angle for theta plus 60 degrees, it'll be 180 minus the 26 odd degrees and that gives you 153.612 and so on degrees. Now you might think well okay that's the range of values we just want to go up to 360 degrees but you'll be mistaken because in a moment we're going to be subtracting 60 degrees off of each of these and I can see that if I subtract 60 degrees off this one well, I'll tell you the answer that we're going to get for theta, if we do that, 26 minus the 60 is going to leave us with a negative angle of minus 33.612 and so on degrees. So we're not going to want that answer. I can see though that taking 60 degrees off this one is going to put me in this range for theta. And if you do that, you're going to find you get 93 point six one two and so on degrees but we've got to take care here we can afford to step outside this range of 360 degrees at this point here if we start from here go to this first line we've seen that it is 26.387 but if we were to carry on a further 360 degrees then 
when it comes to taking 60 degrees off, we're going to be back in range. So if we add 60, 360 degrees, I mean, to this angle, that's going to give us 386.387 and so on degrees. Now, when we take 60 degrees off this to get theta, we end up back in the range. We get 326.387 and so on. And so do take care to watch out for that idea where you might have to step outside your range. Well, we've got to give the answers to one decimal place. So if we do that, then we can ignore this answer. It's out of range. But for this one, we get 93.6 degrees. And for the other one, it's going to be 326.4 degrees. Both of these, we'll put both there, both are given to one decimal place, one DP for short. Okay, 